Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about working with our log analysis in our PC Link software. So up to this point, we've taken a look at working with our ECU analysis. That's gonna be where we've created all of our pages and our templates, so we're very efficient at doing our different tuning tasks. Now the log analysis is gonna have that same idea. This is gonna be just for data logging. So in this video, I'm gonna be walking you through how to get into the log analysis side of the software, and then we're gonna be creating custom templates and pages so we can most efficiently move through data logs and uh, go in and evaluate what's going on maybe with the tune or the health of the engine or how somebody's driving or track conditions or all kinds of different factors we're going to be finding when we're working with our link software. So without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're going to be taking a look at working with our data logging a little bit more extensively in this video. The last video we were taking a look at how to go in and create an onboard log and use the PC logging and open it up in our time plot and save the onboard log and all the basic things you're going to go along with data logging. So now that we understand how to capture the data log and then to open it up in our time plot, we have some further data analysis that's going to be available to us beyond what we're going to be finding in the pages here. So if we're doing our main field tuning, we could pan through a data log and we could see the functions or features that we've set in the time plot here and in the parameters list as long as we've logged those when we're doing our PC logger or our onboard logger, we're going to be able to play them back and use it for our tuning task. We can see right here as I'm kind of panning back the log, my tracer showing me my exact position, and I'm able to best tune my fuel table like this or figure out where my target air fuel is at. So we find about a lot of value in working with the data logs, and this is going to be how you properly tune using your link. So if we want to kind of take this a step further, and we have a race vehicle, and um, we're going to go to the track, and we're going to be racing. Um, we're going to be finding that we want to look at data a little bit differently than when we're on the dyno. So when we're on the dyno, we're concerned about our fuel and our spark and setting it up, setting our boost up, um, and setting up things like that. When we're at the track and we're tuning, we want to pay attention to fuel and spark and the boost control, but we also want to kind of pay attention to all of the other information and data that we have to look at. So if we're logging, let's say, oil pressure or fuel pressure, and we're going into cornering, we want to make sure that we're not dropping oil pressure, and maybe that's kicking in a protection feature that we set up. So there's all kinds of things that we need to analyze with our data when we're racing. And it's going to be better suited in the log analysis side of our software. So if we jump up here to display mode, we can find that we have an ECU and then a log analysis. And if we look here, the ECU is shaded in blue. Um, if, um, if I'm on this, you can't see it, but we can see that log analysis is not. Now, we're going to be finding the ECU side of things here. This is going to be where when we go to our layout here and we say save layout or open a layout. Right now I'm using master tuning layout. That's the layout that we've created here and all of the videos, all the separate pages we've created. Um, we're gonna be finding that we're able to go in and uh, work with this ECU side working with our layout. And again, that's gonna be for doing our tuning in. So we have this other option here for log analysis. Now the log analysis is gonna allow us to look more specifically at features or functions and trying to evaluate a car's performance on the track. Now we can certainly use it during our tuning, but it's gonna be best left for doing some uh, big data analysis, trying to kind of get the big picture of what's going on and how a vehicle is performing. So we need to go in and create a new layout here, just as we found if we go into the ECU side of things of our software and we created all these custom pages, we're gonna be doing layouts specific for looking at a time plot and a parameters list that's gonna be associated with a particular task. So let's jump in here and take a look at this. So under display mode, log analysis, I'm gonna go here um, and I'm gonna to go to layout and into, I'm gonna go here and create a new page. So we're gonna go new page. Now when you go in from in your display mode here, if you go from the ECU into the log analysis, you might find that you have three or four pages already populated in here from link. I don't use those particular default pages. I am gonna create my own. Um, I wanna look at very specific things when I'm tuning, so I wanna make sure that what I'm looking at is going to be suited to what I want to do and use for my tuning or trying to evaluate a car's performance. And what they have in those default pages are really just a sample. They're not gonna be something um, super usable for a data analysis on your vehicle. So the very first page I'm gonna be creating here um, is gonna be called Fuel and Spark. So we're gonna be taking a look at anything that's related to fuel and spark timing in our operation of our engine. So um, we're gonna be finding, we're gonna create a huge parameters list and then we're also gonna have a huge time plot here. And then we're gonna be pl plotting a couple channels that are gonna be most important to evaluate very quickly at a glance 
of what's going on with an engine's performance for fuel and spark timing. And if we notice any kind of uh, oddities in our time plot, we're gonna have our parameters list on the side that where our cursor's at, it's gonna allow us to trace back through and look at all the things associated with fuel and spark timing, and we can just figure out whatever's going on. Now, what I wanna note here is once we populate this page, I'm gonna be illustrating this, wherever we're operating at, whether it's gonna be the log analysis or the ECU, we're gonna be seeing wherever our cursor's at in any time plot, in any window. That's gonna be noting the exact same point in time, whether it's going to be, uh, again, looking at the data log on the display motor and log analysis. So if we're in our log analysis,